And welcome back to Ozarks Live. Now, Mr. John Sellers is always checking in to tell us a little more about this place we call home. That is true. And today we get to learn about a building that was quite unique to Springfield. Unfortunately, it's no longer here. It, it was torn down, but some of you may remember it. Hi. I'm John Sellers, Executive Director of the History Museum on the Square. This week I've got an interesting story that happened 78 years ago, the first week in June. So 78 years ago, next week. On that date, a new building opened on North Glenstone Street in Springfield, across the street from what at that time was still the O'Reilly General Hospital, which later became Evangelion University. And the building was, became instantly iconic to the city of Springfield and to travelers on Route 66. Because on the front of it was a 60 foot tall concrete paper cup with lily cups emblazoned on it. Because this cup plant, brand new, just opening, was the flagship of the Lily Tulip Cup Company. They made everything from buckets for Kentucky Fried Chicken the little tiny cups that you got medicine in at the hospital. And at one time they employed up to 1,600 employees making all kinds of cups in that building. For many years, when you traveled through Springfield, you'd look for the paper cup and that gave you directions to other places. You'd say, go to the paper cup, and then go two blocks south and turn to the right and you'd get where you were going. It was iconic. It went through several ownerships over its time in Springfield until ultimately it was owned by Solo Cup, famous for their red Solo Cup. And uh, as time and things developed and other types of cups came into being, uh, it lost its uh, flagship status and ultimately was closed and sat empty for quite a while until a local businessman bought the building and repurposed it into warehouse and space for other businesses. And in the doing of that, uh, they found that the big concrete paper cup that had been built on the front by the Johnson Construction Company, who were tremendous concrete contractors, uh, was beginning to sink. And that it was not going to stay on the front of the building. So they uh, went in with jackhammers and jackhammered this huge concrete cup off the front of the building. And Springfield lost one of its iconic pieces of history after almost 78 years. Well. Hope you've enjoyed this little trip down memory lane here in Springfield. Have a great week. I'll see you next week. Goodbye. <laughs> Ever wonder where the cup ended up? Yeah, well, I, I'm assuming since it was concrete, they probably bashed it to pieces. <laughs> I guess so. Although they may have brought a huge waste paper basket and just crumbled it and crumbled threw it, it in. and thrown it in there. Yeah, yeah. It's the only other thing I can think of. I know, very iconic for a lot of years. Yeah. That building does look really good I now, remember though. I will it. say. Yeah. All right, coming up, we get to hear what's making headlines with the lovely Heather Lewis. And we get to read the last letter to the Dickerson Park Zoo. So stick around. There's more Ozarks Live when we get back.